The National Socialists are mostly interested in genre paintings, farmers in the fields, bucolic scenes. As for others, it always closely bordered on kitsch. That was what the average German found beautiful. Kita Kolwitz's works do not reflect this notion of beauty. They are provocative. They portray sorrow and deep emotions. Politically, she sympathizes with the socialists. Despite the new leaders, she and her husband Karl elect to remain in Germany. In January 1933, she makes the following entry in her journal. The Third Reich has begun. On February the 15th, Heinrich Mann and I must leave the academy. Arrests and house searches. At the end of March, we leave for two weeks in Marienbad. We will return at the middle of April, determined to stay. The dictatorship is now in charge. Whoever still works in the arts and sciences must now be a member of the Reichskulturkammer. Whoever chooses not to conform and adapt must leave the country. Marlene Dietrich, Ernst Toller, Stefan Zweig and Bertolt Brecht. Other artists bow before the system and forge careers, adapting their styles, like the sculptor Arno Brecker. 